so we start by asking ourselves what is an acid that is what should a compound or a substance have so that i can call it an acid so the thing that is common to all acids is that when they are dissolved in water in its aqueous condition it should give me hydrogen ion now this is also called proton so any substance which when dissolved in water gives me hydrogen ions i can call it an acid so please note down an acid is a substance which gives hydrogen ion or proton when dissolved in an aqueous solution now i'll be taking examples of the most important and most common acids now in the laboratory you can find wide range of acids but here for our understanding we'll take the most important acid that is sulfuric acid now this is a compound which is represented as h2so4 now if somebody says that it is an acid the reason is that when it is dissolved in water it is breaking into ions first of all these ions are a cation and an anion a positive charge and a negative charge now the positive part here is h plus while the negative charge is so4 2 minus now to balance the charge that is here i have two negative i should have two positive here as well so i make it 2h that is i add a coefficient 2 and now the charge is balanced so what are my ions h plus and so4 two minus and since i have h plus in its aqueous state i say that it is an acid in fact it is a very important acid let me take another very important one that is hydrochloric acid that is represented as hcl when this is dissolved in water it is giving me two kinds of ions of course one is cation one is anion it is giving me h plus that is a proton and cl minus now since i have this i can call that it is an acid next i'm taking another very important one that is nitric acid now, these are the acids that you can find in your laboratory these are very common the formula is hno3 in its aqueous state it breaks into two kinds of ions that is no3 minus and h plus now again i saw this and i called it an acid okay let me take one more that is phosphoric acid that is represented as h3po4 i have h plus ion co4 three minus ion now here again the charge is not balanced if you note down here i had one positive one negative it was balanced even here one positive one negative balanced but here i see three negative to maintain these three negative i should have three positive so i should add a coefficient three that makes it three plus charge and three minus charge so that was phosphoric acid now look at these acids okay these are the most important ones so i wrote them down of course there are many many acids but just look at these four important ones what is the thing that you can see in common of course this has sulfate ion this has phosphate ion here there is you know nitrogen in this chlorine in this but one thing that is common is h plus ion in their aqueous state aqueous state means a state in which a substance is dissolved in water what do i get h plus ions so now the basic thing is that any substance which gives h plus ions will be called an acid now let me talk about the properties of acid that is the physical properties we'll be looking at chemical properties later also note down that these chemical properties of acids are the most important from your exam point of view because you'll be having reactions here but to understand or to go to them we need to understand what acids are properly so for that we see the physical properties of acid now note down that there are many many acids now we spoke about the most common acids let me talk about the acids which are present in our daily lives okay now this will be very interesting let us look at their you know use in daily life now 
sure all of you have tasted lemon, tomato. And these are the things which are very common, right? Now, what specific kind of taste that lemon has is also because of acid. Even tomato's taste or its texture or what it looks like is because of acid. Now, what is the acid that is present in lemon? It is called citric acid. So, just like sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, there is another kind of acid that is called citric acid which gives lemon its taste. Similarly, tomato has an acid that is called oxalic acid. Okay, let me take another one. Now, this is very interesting. Now, when ant stings you, you feel that burning sensation. Even that is because of acid. That is called methanoic acid. So acid is not just, you know, limited to your laboratory that you find, you know, sulfuric acid, nitric acid. We have their use even in our daily lives. You can see here. I'm sure you might have noticed the transformation of milk into curd. Also, there is a change in the taste from milk to curd. Now, that is also because of an acid which is called lactic acid. Because curd has this acid called lactic acid which gives it its property. Now I see the physical properties of acid. Now I hope you'll be able to relate to here. The first thing is that all the acids are sour in taste. That you know from the taste of lemon and tomato and you know orange etc. Also acids will react with base to give salt and water. Next. It gives hydrogen ion when dissolved in water. Now, all these acids that I have, you don't need to remember their formulae. But one thing that is there is that when dissolved in water, they'll give hydrogen ion. If you like the video, please hit the like button, comment and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe for all our future videos.